every now and then on your day off you just want to get up and go get some some food and go eat and go back to bed you know but hey I'm here to talk to y'all today about masculine energy and the misunderstanding of it because there's a big topic that's always talked about called or titled in order for a woman to get in her feminine energy you have to release it or some shit as a man is what they're saying that would be like me saying in order for me to act masculine or act like a man the right woman has to come along for that to happen until then I'm just going to be feminine and act like a woman right so let's let's flip that vice versa let's let, let's break down what they're saying I know what they're really saying we're going to break that down too hopefully but let's break down what they're saying I'm going to act like a man until this so called perfect man that doesn't exist is going to make me act like a woman I'm going to act like a man until I meet this guy and he makes me act like a woman you know the real problem is with all this shit? They don't even understand what feminine energy is. That's why they confuse it with masculine. When they say masculine to them, what they're thinking is, I pay my bills, I do this and that on my own. Right? But they don't understand what men are talking about when we're talking about masculine. We're not talking about you paying your bills. We are talking about you running around like an NFL linebacker bad bitch. And if you don't understand that, then understand this. You don't like a man who acts feminine, right? Right or wrong? If you're a woman watching, you do not like when men act feminine. That's why you go after so-called bad boys because they act like, you know, rugged and rough around the edges and shit. And nice guys don't. And nice guys come across as more. The fuck are you doing?
my bad, y'all. Somebody trying to buy my other car. But look, check this out. My bad about that, y'all. Somebody was trying to buy my car. All right, check this out. When, when a lot of females think that... See, fi, women and men got to understand that women and men are different. You can't look at a woman or man from the perspective of you. You have to look at it from the perspective of them. You have no choice. Whether you like it or not, if you're dealing with a woman or man, you have to be fair about it and look at it from their perspective. You can't look at it from yours. Just like if you have a child, you got to understand from, try to understand from the child's perspective of why they're doing this or why they're doing that. Instead of thinking that they're 40 years old and they know better. Because they don't, right? Same thing. I'm not saying women and men don't know no better, but I'm saying, I'm giving y'all an example. As a kid, a child, they don't know no better, so you can't look at it as they know as much as you because they don't. But either way, um, you could tell that women don't even have, most women have no idea of what being feminine is. That's why they confuse it with, that's why they think when men are saying they want feminine energy women, they think that men have to pull this shit out of them. Or they say that, well, if you want a feminine woman, then don't make me pay the bills and this and that. That has nothing to do with being feminine. See, because they think they associate men masculine with paying bills and all that and they assume that men look at it the same way when it comes to women that's not what men look at when they say masculine women they not saying because you pay your bills you're masculine they're talking about how you carry yourself it's how you carry yourself how you act and y'all seem to not have a problem with that or you seem to not care you you feel like it doesn't matter if i act like a bad bitch or not i don't care but on the flip side when it comes to men, you don't want them to act feminine. You know, that's why you always caught up with the so-called bad boy who don't care. Because he comes across as more masculine simply because he doesn't care about you. That's all it really is. Or he's putting on an act to act like he's a thug or whatever the fuck. You wanna, whatever you want to say. But the point is, this is why a lot of women choose those guys. Because those guys are less feminine than the so-called, what you would call, nice guy. If the nice guy don't know how to have some type of edge to him... He's going to come across feminine and weak and all this other shit. And women are going to be turned off. Even if he's not weak and feminine. He's just going to come across as that. His energy is going to come across as that. And the same thing goes for these women with their, their uh, masculine energy. Just because you pay your own bills don't mean you got to walk around like a fucking NFL linebacker. Cussing men out and nigga this, nigga that. That don't mean you got to do that. See, the problem is you, you wonder why... See, you got this part down. I'm going to show my, this or that to a man. That's how I get a man. Yeah, you got that part down. But to keep a man, you got to be feminine. You got to have feminine energy. Because he's not going to want that. Because there's no peace there. So to get a man to sleep with you and to get his attention, yeah, you show your body. Yep. But to keep him, you're going to have feminine
and until you basically do what I say. That don't make no sense. Then why the fuck would I want to be with you if you're not a real woman? The point is picking a woman that's a real woman, right? So you're trying to tell me I got to make you be that afterwards? No, it don't work that way. It don't work that way. That's like me saying I'm not going to be a man until a woman picks me. And then I'm going to be a man. It don't make fucking sense, man. It's bullshit, man. Stop falling for it. I'm going to be masculine or try to be a man and not be feminine it, I'm, uh, once a woman picks me. That, that's when I'll do it. Does that make sense to y'all? Even a woman watching can say that that's, full, that's bullshit. Being an independent woman don't mean you got to be masculine. Remember what masculine means to most men. To the society, whatever, they, they have masculine labeled as paying bills and all this other bullshit. We ain't trying to hear that shit. We know what the fuck we mean when we say masculine. We mean how you act, how you carry yourself. Period, point blank. Don't no man, ain't no man crying because a woman wants to pay her bills or move like an independent person. No man's crying over that shit, man. Unless he's a weak, scary man that's scared that you're going to be, you can leave him or some shit if he doesn't act right. That's the only one. Uh, other men, we have no problem with that shit. That's not the issue. The issue is acting like a fucking man and you know it and th these women know this shit man they know they act like men and move like men now because some man hurt them and turned them bad good girl gone bad she's gone forever like they say and now she want to act like a man and then she want to use the disguise and say it's because she hasn't met a real man when really it's because you don't even like the real men you like the bad boys and shit that convinced you that there's real men and now you're stuck on that trend. You're stuck on that. What do you call that? Ah, uh, what the fuck do you call that? Imprint. Your imprint is them. That's what you like now. You you can't get turned on by good men. So you got to go through the toxic ones. That's what it really is. And you're really complaining about these toxic men that don't measure up to be real men. You ain't even complaining about good, solid men. That's that. Because if, that, if they was, then okay, since it, let's just give them the benefit of the doubt. They can't be feminine until they meet a guy that brings it out of them. Okay, then pick one that does. Oh, that's right. I forgot. See, I just love just busting their head with their fucking lies because that's all they do is lie. And I don't do it because I'm mad or I'm, I'm against women. I'm against men and women fighting each other. I do it because I try to make them think. Like, man, you're you're you're, you're um, been brainwashed by society believing this shit, man. I'm sure Cardi B and them said it and they rhymed some fucker where I need a man to bring a, a bitch. Uh, uh, I won't be submissive unless it's the right man. That's bullshit. You should be submissive to yourself. You should be submissive to being a woman for you, not for a fucking man. You think I'm going to try to be a solid man for a woman or do I do it for me? I have to do it for me first. Because I'm not going to even attract the right female if I don't. So you're not going to attract the right man unless you start being a woman first. That's what they're not telling you. What they're telling these women is you, you could do what you want and then a man's going to bring it out of you one day. Like he's God or some shit. It's ridiculous. Men are not God, man. That's y'all trying. That's a lot of women trying to play God. You know, they want to pick a man that's damaged and broken and try to change him instead of picking a man that God has changed from being broken. Yeah, I'm going to say that again. They want to pick men that are broken and try to change the man to take all the credit and like they fucking like they God or something instead of picking a man that God has changed from being broken you know what I mean because they don't get the credit God does that's all it's, that's all it boils down to but me personally and men do this shit too sometimes they try to break women or pick women that they can that need them and all this and all that but me personally I'd rather pick a woman that God has changed. Because I can't change a woman better than God can. I just can't. I could be a part of the woman, life, and all that stuff, man. But ultimately, ultimately, God is the one that's really working with that woman way more than I am. I'm just a part of the woman's life, and I could have influence on the woman in certain ways, but ultimately, it's God. And if it's not, then that's not the right woman or man for you. If, if the woman or man is not being operated under God more than anybody else, then they're not the right one for you. They're just not because I can't stop the woman from turning down that guy that she might find attractive, but she's with me. I can't stop that. Only her and God can do 
can overcome stuff like that, temptation and shit. I can't. Y'all not hearing me, though. Y'all don't get it. So I'm going to let this shit ride, man, and whatever, man. Believe what you want. Y'all women still want to believe that men, when we say masculine, even though most of y'all run a game, I already know, but some of y'all are confused. You got some confused. You got some run a game. You still want to believe that men are saying masculine out of the fact of you paying your own bills and being a mom or whatever, then go ahead. Be stupid. But for the smart women and for the the men who don't want to be confused by this bullshit ass game we know what time it is we know what we mean when we say masculine women we know exactly what we mean when you say masculine woman i do not think in my head oh a woman that pays bills and she's a lawyer and not no that's like a grown woman to me i do not think masculine when i see this shit man when i see a woman living on her own paying her bills i do not think she's a masculine woman I think a grown woman. But when I hear the cussing and the, the fighting and the bottles and all that, carrying yourself like a man, that's the masculine shit I'm talking about. That's the masculine bitch that we are talking about. And I'm not saying a woman got to be a perfect little angel and this and that. But damn, can you have some feminine type of shit, energy in you at all? Especially dealing with a man. Now, if a woman want to deal with her girlfriends like that, I don't really give a fuck. Like, you want to be masculine around your girlfriends and all that shit, go ahead. I have no problem with that. Y'all want to cuss 24-7, that's fine. But when you're dealing with the presence of a man, you should, do, you should be a feminine woman around that man, period, point blank. Because imagine me being masculine around my friends, but then when I get around you, I'm feminine. And that's the problem with a lot of nice guys, believe it or not, when they interact with women they get in this feminine mindset because they think that i'm supposed to be super nice she's a woman and it's a good thing but it's how you do it you know what i'm saying it's how you do it so we like the fact that women do grown-up shit like take care of themselves and they can do this and that you know um some people argue over 50 50 shit that's another topic but again I like the fact, and I think most men like the fact that women move a certain way, in a grown-up way. But it's all about how you are carrying yourself towards that man. Are you presenting yourself to a man like a woman? Or are you acting like a fucking man in a woman's body? I'm, I'm curious, because it's not attractive. They got to, women do not understand that just because you think it's okay, or it, it doesn't, just because you think it doesn't affect how attractive you are, because you might show your body and still get men to want to fuck you. Understand to keep them, you're not going that's not going to be enough. Because it's not attractive to men when you act like a man. It's just not attractive. But you still blaming it on cuz you pay your bills. That's why men are are attracted to you. That's that's another problem. They think because they pay bills or move like a grown woman, that's why the men aren't attracted to them. She never looked at the fact that she's acting like an NFL linebacker. She never looked at that part. Maybe it's that. Just like, here's the nail in the fucking coffin. Just like a man, dog, I got this, I got, I'm tall, I got the money, uh, I got a good job, all that. Why do they like me? Because you're, you're carrying yourself, you're coming across probably feminine to them. When you interact with the woman, you're being too nice or whatever they want to call it. So you're coming across feminine or you're coming across as an ass kisser, basically. That's what women really mean when they say being too nice, for real, for real. The bad boy don't kiss her ass, so that's why it's attractive. I'm not saying treating her like shit is attractive, but it's more, it's more she's more attractive probably to that than the guy kissing ass, you know. So... That's why. A man can have all this shit going on. Looks at all that and can't get women because of the way he carries himself. Now, why on earth don't women get this shit vice versa? You got all that shit. You got, you got the looks and all that. And you still don't understand why men are not really fucking with you like that. It's because of the way you carry yourself, your energy. You're carrying yourself like a man. And the confusion comes in because women are still able to get fucked by these men or, or deal with these men because of the vagina part or showing her body part. So she thinks that that or that makes them confused as to why men really ain't fuck with them. 
because they're getting them in because they show their body and all that, but they're not keeping them in. And they, they're confused as to why. They're like, I'm getting all kind of men, but why don't they stay? You know, I, the showing their body parts is how she gets the men, but she forgets that the acting like a, a damn man is why they're not staying around or why they're not attracted or why they picked that one. Why he picked that ugly ass girl? She uglier than me. Look who he cheated on me with and blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying that cheating is right, but they have no idea why. Maybe that one's way more submissive than you. And that's another word that needs to be explained. Submissive. They think that it's some type of... A man has to submit to you? Even though society don't say it, men still have to submit to you. It's the same fucking thing. When a man commits to you, he's submitting to you. So I don't hear, I don't know what the uproar is about. I'm not submitting, uh, uh, slave. Because you don't understand. Again, misunderstanding of the masculine word and the submissive word. They don't understand that. All submissive means is you like a man a lot and you're trying to open up to him. I, it don't matter about if you're, if you're talking about washing dishes or whatever you're talking about. That don't matter. The bottom line is you're trying to build and open up with a man. That's, that's submissive. And guess what? Vice versa. When a man is trying to build and open up with a woman, that's submitting. That's submitting. My bad. That's submitting to the woman. Period. Point blank. Period. Point blank, man. Believe what y'all want, man.